point. So it's uh, the very first week of February, and uh, of course, Happy New Year. It's a little late for it, but that's where that's where we are. Uh, it's been a busy, busy winter. My uh, boss pulled his head out. Started thinking about it. I hate touching these receipts. These heat printed receipts have uh, BPA in them. Same stuff that's screwing up the oceans. Anyway, uh, when I quit on him a number of months ago, he uh, suddenly realized he was going to be screwed if he didn't uh, do something. So he sobered up and uh, basically uh, has made a full comeback. So we've been completely swamped at work, which is great because I need all the money I can get for the boat. And uh, got uh, ball joints for the truck, oil change for the truck. That's oil filter. I'm going to do the ball joints tomorrow, probably the pitman arm as well. But, uh, I'm going to do the oil, I might do the oil change right now, I think I'm going to. So, you may uh, notice that it's a chillingly cold February day here in Colorado. Uh, it's a uh, bone chilling 72 degrees and the uh, wind is just a light breeze blowing through. So, anyway, the uh, oil change, oh, if you, you see the ground's kind of wet, the tree guys still haven't come and taken Jerry's trees down or away. We paid them. They were supposed to take them down in November. Nice tree company, but look, snow. <laughs> Catalina. I'm trying to put some of that video up. Looks like I can't get on that with this wrench. I should remember that by now. It's probably the third time I've fourth time I've done this. There we go. Yeah, where is my oil filter? I'm not going to blow that out as either. It's on the other side, it looks like.
It's a gusher. And this little bolt is quite toasty. Yes, yes, it is quite toasty. Ah, there it is. I see it. It's that piece of crap frame I bought. <laughs> it's a reason to remove these step boards. I don't think I can lose a heck of a lot more weight. <laughs> a little bit in the middle, I suppose. Uh, I'm not a fan of Fram. But uh, this is the extra guard, and uh, it was really cheap at the time. This time I bought a different brand. It's not, I did buy a K&N when I first bought the truck. What difference is that going to make at this point? This thing's got 220,000 miles on it. It's, uh, only got so many rotations left in the in the game. So I've already been looking into a new engine for it. The uh, the only issue that I have is with. Uh, Brakes give me a little bit of an issue because there's an ABS switch computer thing going on. That, that sucker's hot. I did just drive it across town about an hour ago so that I could get this oil pan drained at the store. But, uh, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna stop. There's, a, I mean, there's only a smidge left. Anyway, for like 1,800 bucks, I can buy a, an engine block, rebuild block, you know, a crane. You know, it's a guaranteed or you know, five-year warranty engine. Just doesn't have any of the electronics on it. There it is. And so uh, you pull your engine out. Which Jerry has a cherry picker in the garage, so we can do it right here where it's currently sitting. And uh, then you put your new engine on a stand and you slowly pull all the electronic parts off this engine and put them on the other one. It could take you like a weekend to switch out the whole thing. All right, there we go. Uh, That's what I was always told. <laughs> now, uh, screw that back on there. Pretty easy. There's a positive and a negative to the hole. Uh, 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 oil being hot. And being hot it's going to drain out a little faster but because it's hot it's going to be uncomfortable now that's 
Got it on that part. Now I'm uh, saving up for now for got online, did some serious hunting. that on a tiller arm it'll be a kick in the butt it'll be it'll also be a uh, safety back you know back up we want to uh, know if we get out into the bay we have a problem we can just get into an anchorage and drop anchor and take the dinghy to shore to go and get whatever parts we need to fix the, the sailboat. Geez, what is with this lid? So, I talked to a rigger yesterday. He wants to assist me with the rigging is what he says. He didn't give me a price. He was supposed to give me a quote. Instead what he did was he told me what I should do. He seems to be convinced that a swage setup is the way to go because they're cheap. And then you just take one length of cable with a non-swaged end you could put together. And I don't see why we wouldn't just buy a swager unless they're extremely expensive. So we'll have to look into that. So this truck holds six quarts. This is five quarts. The other one was a single. And uh, this is supposed to be the Castrol high mileage. This truck, like I said, has very high mileage. It should slow down because it has a tendency to back up. <laughs> Overflow back out of it. So the uh, the next trip out will be we're thinking mostly deck work. You know, Jerry isn't even sure if he'd go, which doesn't matter. You know, it's uh, he uh, gives me this place to stay for free in that spare room, which I haven't shown any of you. Uh, since I've been in there, but he had a room in his house and he always wanted to sail, but of course, being a blind guy, it's kind of difficult to get to do that, so he uh, offered me the spare room if I'd help him around the house, and then I could spend my entire payroll on the boat, and that's working fabulously. I need to put some more money in this truck. And, uh, and you know, buying things for the boat like the, the other, you know, the smaller boat. I'm tickled about that, by the way. It has an inflatable keel. It rolls down and fits inside of that box that my neighbor gave me at the mobile home. I'll uh, have a high-speed recording of it. I'll try to stick onto a video. And, uh, uh, fold up the boat and stick it into a folding bag and strap it to the deck. But, 
uh, that's uh, pretty much the full oil change.